So today we're going to be chatting and we're going to be doing my makeup together. So basically I'll be doing my makeup and then we'll just be kissing along the way. Ali Pro sent me their deep wave hair and delivery took about a week. I think a week and some days or approximately a week anyway. So the hair I received is the deep wave hair and I got two bundles of 20 inches, one bundle of 18 inches and then a 16 inches closure and the hair is really really bouncy, it came, the waves are really really deep just like the name implies but you can choose to you know finger comb, brush or even comb with a white tooth comb, really just depends on how you want the hair to come out eventually and I also love that it came with a really big drawstring bag the size of the bag is bigger than the regular sizes i usually get and this hair came out really big so that was very very important so this is what the hair looks like just throwing it on my head i haven't even run my fingers through it this is just what the hair came looking like after it was wigged this is how some people wear that wig though i mean we used to wear wigs like this this is fine for some people like some people can wear wigs like this they are fine with it the lace is looking you know yellowish and all that stuff and they're gonna wear it like that they don't send you but i figured out you know ways to make my wig look a lot more natural so that's what we're going to be doing so yeah i'll come back to you guys when i am done with the customization then we'll start my makeup and then we'll just okay give me some minutes so i'm back i'm just going to be styling this hair while we discuss okay it's like i've spot my eyebrows did my brows and i want to lay the baby hair so so from the title of this video, you guys can tell it is, I'm just going to be gisting up at this breath control thing and I talked about it briefly in my last vlog um, but the comments I've gotten from, I posted that vlog like day before yesterday and the love on the vlog has been excessive so the comments I've been getting, the suggestions, the stories both on youtube and on um instagram has been crazy you guys i have heard so many things that at this point in my life i don't even know what i'm going to do with myself because <laughs> the things i have heard i'm going to share with you guys so i tried as much as i can to do like um a screenshot of all the different stories and like people's experiences that people shared with me anyway so i did screenshots and i will be reading out some of the stories with you guys and sharing with you because it's crazy how these things work people would say oh um this is what my doctor recommended that i should use and then you find someone else whose doctor recommended the same thing and then the person's stories are insane the person's experience is crazy so um basically since i got married i have not used any form of contraception before um apart from like the emergency pills once in a while and that doesn't happen too often and i mentioned to you guys that there was a time i actually went to a pharmacy to buy um like a pill and the pharmacist was asking me if i'm married and she was asking me why i was using the pill i was suggesting i get um the coil because she had been using the coil for so many years so i mentioned 
I mentioned that in one of the vlogs, but I have not used any family planning method since I got married. Um, and I also mentioned that I use a Catholic hospital, and my hospital doesn't. Um, they don't support family planning, so they only support the natural method, which is the. Is it also called Billings method? I think that's the one they call Billings method. So the one where you count your cycle, you study your mucus and all those things. I think that that should be the natural one, right? That's the one that they do anyway. So because of that, it's not the easiest thing for me to even go and do because number one is that. Everything in Nigeria is difficult. A lot of things in Nigeria are just difficult to do. So, to say I want to now leave my hospital, go to another hospital, that would require new registration. And at this point, I don't even know any private hospital that I can even use. Because the thing about private hospitals is that at least there's, you don't find, like there's no queue. You're not on any queue or anything like that but government hospitals i don't know people recommend government hospitals for things like family and family planning i don't at this point see i don't even know but the government hospital that i know that i even wanted to try i'm hearing that the procedure for even opening a card with them is tedious so well you yeah. guys so at this point the only method that we've been using is the pull out method and Honestly, for me, that method is very scary because during the process, all you think of is, I don't want to have another baby. I don't want to have another baby. I was reading that um, men always have what they call pre -com, So it's like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like you're doing it all your mind your brain everything has to be there i feel like it just takes away from i don't know what i'm doing with my hair at this point i feel like it takes away from the pleasure and everything so it makes it makes the whole process just annoying but you know like i was discussing with a couple of women on my instagram with time they may get used to it but then you know getting used to something doesn't mean that you are enjoying it i feel like some somehow they just they start dealing with the discomfort and with the they just start dealing with it somehow you know nigerian men are so against vasectomies it is crazy like please if you know any nigerian man that has gotten a vasectomy please let me know in the comments because if there are men like that, then they should advise their fellow men because this will just make it easy for all of us. I don't know. It will just, it will just make life so easy for the rest of us. We don't have to stress our lives over this thing. You guys. spray my face with the CC Glam Rose Water which is the very first thing I usually do so let's let's just leave the calling out of the products I'm going to use just you know so my brain is not doing so many things at the same time so um, I was about to tell you but anyway this is the Pond's lasting oil control for very oily skin the vanishing cream so I just use this first before I go in with anything um, so we'll be using the pull out method and well, it's been working so far. It's easy, you guys can see that I'm not pregnant. It's been working. Um, I am steady asking my husband, are you sure we're fine? Are we good? Another important thing is also to get, is also to get one of these apps on your phone. So you can, you know, Google. There are a lot of good apps. The one I use is Flow. So um, with Flow, you can, you just keep on imputing like your symptoms during, during your cycle um you enter your symptoms your your you know the day of your period you just enter everything anyway and then 
you know as you do this over time the app kind of you know collects the data and then comes up with um what's the word predictions we like all that with predictions and then just basically tells you when you're safe when you're ovulating you know and all of that and I also think it's very important because apart from putting in your dates it's also important to put in symptoms like for me there are times during the month when I would be craving sugary food or times when I would be um, or times when I find that I'm extremely cranky or just emotional that kind of thing so a lot of times during that time of the month I like to put that into the app just so that if it happens the next month I'm able to track it and then I understand that this is what happens. It's probably hormonal, you know, I'm stressing out because of hormones, or I'm, you know, crying during this period or I'm just getting peace during this period because of my hormones. So it's very, very important as well to, you know, do that. So like I said, the name of the app I use is Flow. Just in case anybody wants to download it. So with my Flow app, for me, my period is very, very regular. So once the 28 days is gone, on the 29th day, Flo tells me it's the beginning of a new cycle. So, last month, the 29th day came and I was like, oh my god, where's my period? Because on the 29th day, my period is supposed to have shown up. And I am just steady asking, where is my period? Like, where are you? And in the morning, there was nothing. In the afternoon, there was nothing. I was beginning to tell my husband, I'm like, see you. <laughs> something wants to happen because my app is telling me that my period is supposed to have come and nothing right now and my husband was like uh, it probably still come just you know hold on so him saying that i was kind of assured that he knew what he was doing during that month i wasn't as worried as i was so it was you know in the evening of that 29th day that my period later on came i was like oh thank god thank the lord god though. i'm going to share with you guys people's horror experiences in the comments of the vlog i posted a lot of people recommended different types of breath control some people said um the coil was good some people said the patch was good some people said they had used the arm implant a lot of these women who gave me these horror stories this is recommended by their doctors based on i don't know what criteria they use but these were recommended by their doctors and then they still went through the same thing so i will share with you guys i have all the screenshots of the ones i remember to get it's crazy how some women are having good experiences with these things and some women are having really really horrible experiences so let me just be done with my eye makeup and go and come back okay so i just remembered under that video someone left a comment saying her suggestion was to use protection and i don't know what she means by protection because i want to assume she's talking about using a condom of the least things i would even think of and i mean if if anybody was going to say use a condom i feel like the the comments that were full with suggestions but nobody mentioned nobody mentioned that and i want to know why i didn't mind when i use condoms so i'm done with my makeup i just want to use my face powder to just kind of blend everything in and then go in with my setting spray so one thing I usually think about because I've never really gone into like a hospital or anything to find out what the price for getting any method of family planning is I just keep on hoping that it is affordable for everybody especially women who especially for people who just cannot afford to you know have more children or like raise more children um, I don't know if you guys came across this post on Insta blog I think it was yesterday it was just so sad so this guy, I don't know if he's a law graduate or whatever. They're calling him lawyer. People say he's a law graduate, but I don't know what he is. But this happened in Nabakaliki. So apparently his wife was pregnant. She had had two cesarean sections before then. And then she was pregnant, you know, about to give birth. And then the guy called like a... I don't even know, is he a traditional, I don't even know, traditional person, a, a quack anyway, to deliver the woman of the baby. And you guys know that if you've had a cesarean section, 
breath after that is usually something that the doctors have to monitor because they need to be sure if you're going to have another cesarean section or if it's going to be a vaginal delivery i mean somehow this man was ignorant i don't know if the wife as well god rest her soul i don't know if she was ignorant of that fact or it was a money issue but the guy kept her in a room and then the quack doctor helped deliver the child and um there was another nurse that stays in the same compound with them that knew that the woman was due to give birth so the nurse came the next morning to check out because i watched there was a video where someone actually was you know asking the nurse questions and the nurse said she came the next morning to find out how the woman was doing and she saw the woman in a pool of her own blood the quack was right behind the woman and then the man was carrying the child or something i don't know how she even described it, it was just horrible because the video showed Showed them lifting the woman out of um a car and putting her in a truck and then they cover her up and i'm like this is something as easy and as natural as childbirth we don't want women still dying from it so i feel the man was probably running from the bills of having a cesarean section because you know in many cases when a woman has um cesarean section apparently two cesarean sections most times she might it, not every time so women still have v-backs but then most times they would they would always ask the woman to have her child via cesarean section and it was so sad because even when they were showing the man trying to bring her out of the car and then lift her into the truck you could see the man was he was feeling so i don't know he you could see that he was remorseful but i'm like this this is life like there are things that are just not done that's why i'm saying i just hope that family planning is cheap enough for women in rural areas or women who cannot afford to have more children to be able to take these things i don't know how how it works i honestly don't know how it works i just hope i don't know i have no idea some people cannot even afford to pay hospital bill and yet they are getting pregnant so it really really baffles me a lot of times how these things work how people even jump into things as difficult as having a child raising a child without even thinking twice about it you know you would be talking to some people and then somebody would tell you it is god that takes care of children just have the child how stupid would i be to just leave myself and tell myself that it's god that takes care of children let me just have as many children as i want it's like no so i'm going to just spray my face down and i'm going to try and figure out what lip product i'm going to wear because i have no idea right now i'm gonna let this dry and i have brushed out this hair earlier when i didn't brush it out i just used a white tooth comb and then i ran my fingers through it but i think i prefer how it looks this way the colors look very very natural and i absolutely love this hair you guys it's full but it's just the right kind of full for me love it it shed a bit um because i plucked out some hairs in the front just to thin out the hairline but other than that i love the hair like you can see it looks really good when i run my hands through it it doesn't shed too much to be very honest it doesn't shed it doesn't shed. and i think this is like one of ali pearl's best selling hair because if you look on youtube a lot of people have reviewed this hair and just running my fingers through it i cannot find like this is just one strand of hair and that can be from the fact that i plucked the front but i was talking about breath control and then just horrors of the horrors of breath control so like i told you guys earlier on i did screenshots um of comments from the last video i posted on the very first one i'm going to read out was curious right? the first person i'm hearing you know um when i was talking about the army plants i felt they were the only problem that i'll probably have with them would be weight gain but then this person changed my mind so she said if you have it please take it out mine broke in my arm and i nearly went crazy the weight gain was 100 percent and my skin got worse so i asked her how they took it out and then she said 
they numb the area and then they use a surgical knife to cut open my skin they cut and cut before they saw the first part then it was taken out the second part had to be pushed out with the help of a mosquito clip so if you have had anybody that's had this experience please share in the comments because she's the very first person that i'm hearing that the implants cut in her arm i've never i've never or broken her arm i've never heard it before so someone else um said that she did the spire which is a coil in 2016 and it messed up her entire system she said her immune system collapsed and she had joint pain and could not move until the doctor suggested that it was removed that it was like magic she was well in no time after then that she doesn't even use the pill so myself i talked with her for a long um, time and then she just suggested the pull out method which she said she uses but like i discussed with you guys i feel like it has ups and downs it does have its ups and down so it's something that really is a personal preference thing and i still feel like it can feel it's a very high chance that it can feel but i feel it's something that you get used to um your partner or your spouse will also get used to as well then someone else said that her mom used the coil and the coil dislodged and traveled up now she's not the first person to say this because someone else in the youtube comment also mentioned the same thing so i asked her i told her my mom used it as well i know my mom complained about it but i can't remember what her complaint was about i think she just said she felt like it was pricking her like there was just this discomfort with it but then she said it dislodged and traveled up so they had to do something like a d and c to get it out now someone said she did the arm implants and then she doesn't think she has added with but it's been about five years since she did it and she said she hasn't seen her period till today you guys five years ago no period to date it just tells you how different the human body is and how we are going to react differently to this thing so it's like are we supposed to jump from one so one plan to another i don't even understand because a lot of these people that these things are happening to they were recommended you know to them by their doctors now she said the um arm implant also reduced her sex drive we talked for a bit and then she also said that at this point she almost never wants sex because it just doesn't work the arm implant but then i think she said something like she's trying to figure out if she's still going to have another baby and then she will know figure out if she wants to take it out or not so someone else said everyone has this came from the comments um, someone said everyone has different side effects of the arm implants i live in the states and i've used it for two years and all my hair fell out and i tried everything to grow my hair back and as soon as i took out the implants my hair started to grow back so just in case you are using the arm implant and then you see that you don't get front hair again or your head on the fall so someone said now this was someone that also talked about the um the coil she said people have had their uterus cut out when the coil dislodges to a different position like the fallopian tube can you guys imagine the copper iud moving all the way from where it's supposed to be up to your fallopian tube she said i'll prefer tying my tubes Someone said it's worth looking into the patch. I use it and it's super convenient. I told my friend about it and she also started using it and she loves it. I don't know why so many women aren't told about it. Now with the patch, I think I heard about the patch when a long time ago my mom gave me a book that had all a di and different family planning methods. That was a long time ago, even before I got married. The book had like um I was talking about sex and then the woman's body and all that so i think that was where i saw i saw the patch but i've never really looked into it and like she said i don't know a lot of women don't talk about the patch because even in the comments i think she's the only person that mentioned the patch in the comments so someone else said hey yummy mommy i've had the arm implant twice and i bleed a lot and for long periods i broke out with acne too i'm now on the copper which has no hormones and i'm really enjoying it no weight gain no side effects and i've been using it for 12 years you you do get some discomfort on the day you get it done but nothing out of the world pain now someone else said you could cut your tubes or have your husband get a vasectomy which is a natural way versus getting all these birth controls which changes your hormones and whatnot people get cancer endometriosis and types especially if you know for sure that you don't want to have any other kids so i discussed this in the beginning of this video how nigerian men are not very accepting of the vasectomy procedure if nigerian men can be willing to do vasectomies for the sake of their wives and the fact that their wives have gone through pregnancy for a whole nine to ten months and then we don't need to start 
taking care of children and also trying to figure out ways to not get pregnant i feel like this would be so easy for us because i mean within a couple of with the number of things we have to you guys you would have a child you have to deal with postpartum deal with your weight gain deal with your strength marks deal with joint pain for me since i had children i have had bad pain in my knees and to be honest i thought it was weight gain but then i was discussing with this lady if you were on instagram and she was we were discussing and then we realized that we we're going through the same thing we both have joint pain on our knees if i sit for too long and my my legs are not stretched out my knees start to burn so coupled with all of that and then we now have to figure out how to not get pregnant i feel like there should be seminars or whatever to educate the nigerian man on how he can also get birth control the women don't have to do everything and that's the last one i'm going to read out hope you guys enjoyed this video um all the links to this hair will be in the description i love the hair i love the curls they're very natural and i love big curls i actually think i prefer big curls to small curls so don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment let's discuss in the comments i'll see you guys in my next video bye standing there as if we should meet